Welcome to the WVU Coliseum as West Virginia gets set for Bowling Green on Big 12 Now on ESPN Plus. Andrew Caridi and Warren Baker with you as we bring you all the action from the charity exhibition. It's the Mountaineers, it's the Falcons, and it's a new start for Hall of Famer Bob Huggins and his crew. It officially begins next week, but also kind of tonight, Warren. It certainly does. A much anticipated season coming up for the Mountaineers. I think everybody's excited about it, and I know Huggs is. This charity exhibition benefits the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research and Dowling Fund. It is a great sight here at the WVU Coliseum as West Virginia takes on Bowling Green, but the skinny of this one is the only way is up for Coach Huggins and his group. Nine different players out of the 14 coming to the Mountaineers this season that are new. That is it, and you know, if we early on see how these guys mesh together and can play together, that's going to be a big key. West Virginia had a closed door scrimmage against Dayton in which they won, but this is their first competition in Morgantown. The Mountaineer starters in this one are Keedy Johnson, who returns for one more year after he opted back in last year. Kobe Johnson, who returns. Eric Stevenson, the transfer from South Carolina. Evan Matthews is back. Everybody knows that. And Jimmy Bell Jr. will play center for the Mountaineers. For Bowling Green, it's Leon Ayers. Caden Matheny, who returns to Morgantown, the UHS product. Samari Curtis, Rashawn Agee, and Gabe O'Neill. The ball is lifted up into the air, and Bowling Green has control. And here is Caden Matheny, who got a great cheer as he returned to Morgantown for the first time as the starting lineup. But he gets booed here, and it's Bowling Green with the offensive foul as they get O'Neill for the moving screen. Oh, O'Neill tried to set a screen for Matheny and moved, and you can't do that. You got to be set. This will be inbounded by Emmett Matthews as he steps back onto the court for West Virginia. Three years here, went away at Washington, and now he returns. Here is Jimmy Bell for West Virginia from Moberly Community College. He's a presence inside as Matthews has it and dishes into Jimmy. Tonka, as they call him, because of his size. Bell turns, puts it up, and is tapped in. At the glass, that's Emmett Matthews, first points back as a Mountaineer as we get this one started. 40 seconds in bake. This is an exhibition, so what's the approach here for Coach Huggins and Bowling Green, for example? I think both coaches are going to see a lot of different combinations, who plays well together. Yeah, I, I think yeah, they both want to win, but they're going to experiment a lot, too. Kitty Johnson called for a major here as the clock stops at 19-10. Virginia played 58 games, which is about 20 minutes per game, and he's actually West Virginia's leading returning score. Those are top four from last year, so a lot to replace for West Virginia, but you just look at the amount of transfers that West Virginia has. We'll get you a graphic in just a little bit to uh, really display what West Virginia has to work with, but all things considered, this group showing a lot of promise as that one is banked in by Rashawn Agee, another community college guy, all the way from Casper College in Wyoming, and it's Bowling Green 3, West Virginia 2. Well, everything's up in the early in the year. You know, you can back a shot out like that, and then it's good to see something like that go down for him. Pass from Eric Stevenson, speaking of transfers. He finds Keedy Johnson cutting through the middle. Stevenson from South Carolina at his fourth school. O'Neal goes to work on Bell, puts it up, couldn't get it to fall, rebound. Emmett Matthews, drop back to Johnson, space opens up right down the middle, back-to-back -back buckets for Keedy Johnson. I really think Keedy Johnson is going to like that, you know, leadership role that he's going to have to have this year for this ball club. Samari Curtis, Matheny, the three ball, too strong, rebound Stevenson. Floats it ahead. Matthews has to be turned away. Johnson. And we got a travel call against Kobe Johnson, the sophomore, Bowling Green basketball. Well, it was a good job by Eric Stevenson looking up the floor to find Matthews just now. You want your guards to have their heads up, and then he did a nice job. Matthews couldn't finish the shot, but good job to see him look up the court. Fifth time that West Virginia has played in a charity exhibition game. You go back to Albany in 2017, Penn State 2018, Duquesne in 19, and Akron in 2021. So the rules are regular. You'll play a 40-minute game as Matheny gets this one. How's West Virginia's depth, Bake, uh, when you look at this team? 
Well, you know, I think they really don't know. I know with as many guys they have that have transferred in, Hux feels like he's going to have a pretty deep squad. Matheny couldn't get it to go, and a shot clock violation is Bowling Green finding tough sledding here. You know, this is an exhibition for, for Caden Matheny coming back to Morgantown. You know it means a little bit more to him. Wanting to come home in front of hometown people like that, it's a lot more like a big regular season game for him being able to get back in Morgantown. Yeah, no question about it. We saw Michael Huger, head coach for Bowling Green in his eighth season. With the Falcons look on, Matheny, a Morgantown native, played at UHS, state champion with the Hawks. Another nice dish inside from Stevenson, who's already made an immediate impact, called the Alpha by Coach Huggins. Matthews couldn't get that one to fall. And it's taken down by Bowling Green. Eric Stevenson, 6'4", 205 from Lacey, Washington. Played with them at Matthews, and actually their decisions to come back were unrelated, but they would take it. They played in high school, they played in middle school, played some travel basketball. Good defense from Stevenson that time. Bell grabbing the rebound underneath. And Stevenson's pass deflected, stolen away. Whistle, offensive foul. Page out of Gabe Oshiboyan. Yes. <laughs> Steven's seen him, not, uh, him do that enough times and uh, had good position and took that charge. As they'll get that one on AG. Try to change the angle halfway there as Bowling Green will make some substitutions here. You know, you talk about Stevenson. He played for Frank Martin, too, at South Carolina, who coached with Hugs. Same type of guy as far as a coach. Has, so hard coaching, he's used to. Chandler Turner has come into the game, the 6'10", or 6'7", 2'10", senior for Bowling Green, along with Madani Diara. Corner three for the Falcons, no good. Foul underneath, they'll send it the other way. Matthews was fouled by Turner. Wilson will make his way in for Virginia. And I'm trying to get Eric Stevenson. Yeah, Stevenson, that last time, the pass down, he and Jimmy Bell not on the same page. And that's stuff that they're going to have to work through as, you know, as the season goes along here. And Stevenson probably wouldn't have even been here, actually, if it weren't for the firing of Frank Martin at South Carolina. Yeah, he that's was true. He was tired of moving. And actually, uh, Stevenson got some exposure against West Virginia back in 2019. Holiday tournament, scored 22 points against West Virginia when he was at Wichita State two years there, then Washington, then South Carolina. And then West Virginia, as that one falls short, and just the true competitor of this group. Whistle and another foul. Or do we get a timeout here from Bowling Green? We had a whistle blown. And it is a timeout for Bowling Green at the 15-41 mark. It's West Virginia 6, Bowling Green 3. And we'll step aside. It's a charity exhibition here from the WVU Coliseum. Mountaineers and Falcons on Big 12 Now on ESPN Plus. Back after this. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier. New York Life's product isn't something you can touch or click on. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucks. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier. 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there. To guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. At SafeLight, we take care of vehicles with the latest technology. When my last customer discovered a crack in his car's windshield, he scheduled at SafeLight.com. SafeLight makes it easy. We're the experts at replacing your glass and recalibrating your advanced safety system. 
and they recycled my old glass. Now that's a company I can trust. Don't wait, schedule today. Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. Gotta keep them moving, running all the time. No time to waste it. If you do what feels right, then own your style. Philips One Blade, your style made simple. There's always a way to make life better. Welcome back to the WVU Coliseum. It is West Virginia 6, Bowling Green 3. Andrew Caridi, Warren Baker with you. And the return of the Duduski, Emmett Matthews, 592 points, 325 rebounds, 25 blocks. Career stats. His last year spent at Washington, where he averaged 12 points per game. Career numbers, but feel like he had some unfinished business here. The grass isn't always greener on the other side, Bake. You know that with the transfer portal and with more utility for players to utilize in terms of where they want to play, options there, but sometimes it's not the right decision, and there's nothing wrong with that. He's back. No, and your word's exactly right. That's exactly what Hug said. Grass not always greener. Put back there, turned in by Chandler Turner. But ultimately, it's great to have him back there. Experience, familiarity with the system. Good set play by Bowling Green on the, uh, on the timeout, the back door. Missed the layup, but got the tip in, so that was a good set. This is Joe Toussaint from Iowa. He's into the game for the first time. Spent three years with the Hawkeyes. Seth Wilson, sporting 14 this year. Instead of 45, misses that one. And here comes Bowling Green. Nice dish from Matheny inside. Whacked hard but fouled by Mohamed Wagi, the sophomore from Bronx, New York. Try to get all of that one. And actually, they're going to get Seth Wilson for the foul, clattering into one another. At the line for Bowling Green. Mohamed Wagi is going to be a player. He's young. He still is just learning how to play. That's what Hugs told me. But he has all the talent in the world. He just needs a lot of polish. And I think Hugs is going to try to give that to him early. So free throws on the way here for Madani Diara, 6'11 senior from Mali. First free throw is up and good. Five minutes played so far here at the WVU Coliseum. As Bowling Green brings in Willie Lightfoot. Freshman from Niagara Falls. He had 28 points a game in high school at Niagara Falls, so you know he can put it up. Inbound to Joe Toussaint here, also from the Bronx. 98 games in Iowa. And in his case, as far as his decision to transfer, Sort of just outgrew the system, outgrew the coaching staff at Iowa. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but feels more comfortable in Coach Hogan's system. Has more flexibility and freedom, he feels. Wilson, in year two. Can't get him to fall that time. Rebound Bowling Green. There's the Falcons up one. Curtis, down the middle. Escapes by Matthews. Can't get a shot to go, rebound Ebbett. And we're gonna get a foul call and a hold. That one goes against Curtis, returning score for Bowling Green. They lost their two leading scores from last year. Curtis, the 6'4 senior from Xenia, Ohio. Checks back in for the Mountaineers, checking in for the Falcons, Sam Town. Eric Stevenson returns to the lineup. You know, one of the things, too, at this point, Andrew, the players need to see how the officials are going to call the game, too, True. you know? Uh, getting a feel of how the officials are going to you know, call it this year and that type of thing. Three ball doesn't go for Wilson. Falcons back the other way. Well, Seth Wilson off to a rough shooting start, 0 for 3 here early on. Possession, West Virginia. The one thing about Seth Wilson, with losing last year, Taz Sherman and Sean McNeil, they thought that Wilson could be one of those guys that could come in and fill it up from outside, and they're going to have to have that. Yeah, Wilson played in 20 games last year, averaged about seven minutes. We expected to see a lot more playing time. Mohamed McGee, Stevenson, tough shot, but he hits from there. Eric Stevenson, he's got that deep shot. 
I, I think the easy comparison would be Sean McNeil, but yeah, if you ask Coach Huggins, they're not the same player at all, even though they do have that deep shot. A lot more toughness. Yeah, there's a lot more toughness. Eric Stevenson much better at getting the ball to the you know, to the hole, too. Much more so than Sean, uh, Sean did. And the intensity of Eric Stevenson, if you talk to him, which I have, is palpable. Right off the bat, the dude just lives for basketball. Floater, short, rebound, Wilson for West Virginia off the miss from Ayers. Matthew stumbles, McGee after it on the floor, Turner, and McGee showing some intensity here. Yeah. Now, well, McGee not backing down early on, you know. It's, it's, not, uh, it's not bad to see a little fight. In the, you don't want it to get out of control, but it's okay to, you know, have those guys go at it a little bit. Yeah, no question. McGee we'll looking for that big block a little bit earlier. And is still feeling Check out the game. More on McGee. Averaged 15 points and 12 rebounds at Marco College outside of Philadelphia at the Juco level. Was a first team All American there, too. And uh, he got quite the hops. Stevenson fouled. He'll go shoot, too. Well, the veteran presence and experience of Stevenson is just immediate. Yes, it is. Why did he come to West Virginia? Obviously, the coaching connection between Frank Martin and Bob Huggins, but also because Coach Huggins is a winner. He's a Hall of Famer now. Eric Stevenson combined two shots. Was in between a spirited uh, conversation between, uh, between Stevenson and Hudson one day about oh, yeah. who was the better fisherman. <laughs> and uh, Stevenson said, There's no way you're a better fisherman than I am, and I can prove it to you. And they went back and forth. It was very, very comical. Yeah. Eric didn't bring up fishing when I was talking to him. <laughs> I would think he's one of those guys that he has no other hobbies besides basketball, but you got to mix it up. He does say he wants to coach in the future, though, which Huggins is skeptical about. West Virginia 10, Bowling Green 7. 12.45 to go here in this charity exhibition from the WVU Coliseum. Bacon is loud. Fans are happy to have basketball back. Layup won't go. Up here's the other way. Stevenson, his pass not deflected. Got the last touch on it. Definitely some contact there, but arm push touches him last. That time Stevenson got himself in no man's land. That's pretty tough. Tried to make the pass out, but you know, good defense there by Bowling Green and just an errant pass. Correct call. I think it was. Uh, West Virginia with some full court man. An excellent play by Matthews. Have it. No good. Woogie up and in. that offside rebound. Mountaineers up five, eight minutes in. And more booze for Caden Matheny, interestingly enough. <laughs> Morgantown kid, not, uh, not super happy about it. I guess there's a bunch of MHS kids here that are going to school, which is understandable because Caden Matheny said this means the world to him, to go back at a D1 level to play in Morgantown against West Virginia here in year three. As that one is touched out, and that'll bring us to another pause. West Virginia 12, Bowling Green 7. As this charity exhibition continues here from the WVU Coliseum that benefits the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund. Back after this on Mid-12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. There are all kinds of products in this world, things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, 
destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. It's not easy being a farmer. You're up with the sun and down in the dirt. It's hard work, but you like it that way. Nature is constantly changing, but it's not in your nature to quit. You sacrifice to support your family and our communities. It's only fair that there's someone supporting you. If Mark, Mr. Cartoon Machado, didn't have the fighting spirit to draw out his passion, he never would have turned Chrome into a canvas. If he let a lack of tools stop him, he never would have started tattooing using a homemade machine. And if he listened to those who said you need an art degree, he never would have perfected the street look that made him a street legend. That's the fighting spirit. That's what makes a lot. Warren Baker, Hall of Famer. Bob Huggins is back after last season that finished 16 and 17. Bowling Green was 13 and 18 last season. So for Coach Huggins, you've been talking to him a little bit. You've been staying up to date. You guys are buddies. Um, so, so what's he saying in, in terms of season expectations, if we can sort of distill it to that? Well, he, he really doesn't know. He said there's a lot of unknowns, and one of the big things right now, Andrew, Trey Mitchell, who is probably the best overall player on this team, who he is, is still out on the uh, injured uh, circuit, so it'll be a lot to see what happens when he gets back. Yeah, there's definitely a feeling out process. Trey Mitchell coming from Texas, so a Big 12 transfer stays in the conference. Also, Patrick Sumner, the sophomore, uh, unavailable for West Virginia, but large majority of this team is staying put as Bowling Green cuts the West Virginia lead to three. Toussaint, Stevenson, off the front of the rim, no good. Hard fight rebound for Toussaint. Toussaint had a great uh, scrimmage against Dayton. He really, really played well. Hudson was impressed with him. Pulls up quickly. Not a bad shot selection, but can't get it to go in. He picks the pocket. Stole away from Turner. Seth Wilson goes into Stevenson. Oh, that would have been a pro shot if he pulled the trigger. <laughs> Back to Toussaint. Nearing the halfway mark. Tossed in. And then Matthews had it poked away from the speedy Caden Matheny. Mountaineers will make some more changes here. Three, as a matter of fact. Keedy Johnson, James Okonkwo, the 6'8 sophomore from England, and Josiah Harris, the 6'7 freshman from Canton, all checking into the game for West Virginia. Jo uh, Josiah Harris has a real chance to be a great player. And with another nice jump shot, looks so comfortable right now in this offense. Yep, completely agree with you. Looking smooth, Josiah Harris, product of Richmond Heights High School in Cleveland. Rebound there for Harris. Stevenson puts it behind the back. Stevenson all the way, lays it up and in. I think we got a fan favorite on yeah, our I hands here, so. Bake. Eric Stevenson, 125 career games, average 10 points, 10 uh, and four assists at Wichita and Washington. Another we'll takeaway here for the Mountaineers, Keedy Johnson, rip loose. Taken away by Lightfoot, Matheny off the front of the rim again, last touch by Wilson. Possession will stay with Bowling Green. 
Caden Matheny just rushed out a little bit, needs to relax. You know, he's, I'm sure you know, the, the adrenaline is pumping. Uh, his shots have looked good, but he's just you know, pushing them just a little bit right now. Which is interesting because that's the number one thing that Matheny has been working on in his first year and after second year of college basketball was don't speed up the game because the game is faster. You let the game come to you. But uh, he's still kind of getting his feelers out there for college basketball because he was limited to 10 games last year because of an ankle injury. It was all conference as a freshman, so definitely a good starting point. Okonkwo had the shot on him, but defended well overall. Here come West Virginia back the other way. West Virginia's defense has been outstanding here early on. Bossy a Tim in the game for Bowling Green as West Virginia leads 16 to 9. Past the halfway point here. Nine minutes to go in the half. Kobe Johnson. Okonkwo almost got the bite there. Shot clock at eight. Johnson. Tough shot will draw the foul. Not sure if you go into the trees like that all that often, <laughs> but I think it's the call. You bought a bossy a Tim call for the personal. And they'll get bossy a Tim. So free throws coming up for Keedy. Keedy Johnson. 75% free throw shooter last year. Shooting a pair. Started 30 games. Hey. Seven steals against Pitt. Hunt doesn't say it a lot of times, but he talks about Keedy Johnson's ability to defend with on the ball. He used to say that about Javon Carter all the time. And he's, he puts Keedy Johnson in that same thing, being able to really pass on a guy bringing the ball up the court. That's what Joe Toussaint said, that Keedy Johnson is great to practice against because he's so he is so tenacious when it comes to defending the ball. So those guys are able to sharpen each other. Matheny. This is Brenton Mills. Pass was deflected, but chased down. Ayers. Look where West Virginia has them starting their offense. I mean, it's hard to. Yeah. Well, there you go. You got it. You know, they, they're almost, a, you know, a couple of feet from half court, having trying to run the offense because of the pressure West Virginia is putting on the ball. Yeah, look how high in the court that they were defending or forced. Yes. Both teams have stayed man to man. I'd be shocked if Bowling Green didn't go zone at some point to see if West Virginia can shoot the ball from the perimeter. Mountaineers doubling up Bowling Green here. Toussaint. Hands all over and by Matheny. Quick pull up. No good that time. Poke loose by Johnson. Okonkwo can't get it in. Put back no. Another opportunity. Josiah Harris tough. Being fought for. Still West Virginia. Harris traveled. Well, you, tra you traveled right now, but I think Hugs will take that. Yeah. He's glad to see them pounding the boards like they are. Yep, couldn't agree more. As that'll take us to another break. It is West Virginia 18, Bowling Green 9, as our charity exhibition from the WVU Coliseum continues. Mountaineers on a 6-0 run over the last two and a half minutes back after this on ESPN+. Plus. There are all kinds of products in this world things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. 
T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. It's not easy being a farmer. You're up with the sun and down in the dirt. It's hard work, but you like it that way. Nature is constantly changing, but it's not in your nature to quit. You sacrifice to support your family and our communities. It's only fair that there's someone supporting you. It's big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. That's not the only thing that's back. Order Popeye's Cajun Turkey while you... Basketball Hall of Fame is Bob Huggins, head coach in his 16th season, 916 wins, and uh, quite the honor to be inducted by some West Virginia greats there. Oh my, Jerry West, Rod Thorne there. You know, and it was it was overdue too. I was getting a little impatient. You know, it should have happened a few years ago, but yep. it's happened now, and everybody's happy. Yeah, everybody is. The only thing Coach Huggins said would have made it better was uh, his dad, his his mom and dad, as a matter of fact, uh, being there to attend it. <laughs> And that's the style of hugs. Family guy. Oconco with a great block just now. He was a great tennis player, from what I understand, before picking basketball up in the last couple of years. That's such an England thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> tennis player. I, mean, I always was curious if you could get, you put a guy out there who's about 6'8", six, 6'10", six, and him just being able to hit everything. Like Caden Matheny hits that one. He finally gets on the board. Morgantown kid. And you have to watch out about a guy like that. Once they get rolling, it's hard to stop sometimes. He got his first one to go finally. A whistle and a foul underneath the basket. As West Virginia up six with seven to play. And we'll get Brenton Mills, the senior from Allen, Texas. Checking in for Bowling Green, Gabe O'Neill. Boy, shot that in rhythm just now. Really took his time. And you know, he feels comfortable when he gets that here. shot going down Keedy like that. Johnson. He can really put him down. Keity Johnson at the line for West Virginia. Mountaineers 0 for 7 in our last seven field goal attempts. Johnson now with seven points with that free throw make. Second in scoring behind Eric Stevenson, who's already got eight. And he makes that one too. So looking ahead to West Virginia's schedule here, got the opener, not this coming Monday, but the following Monday against Mount St. Mary's here from the WVU Coliseum. I'll be on that one. Baker, are you on that one too? Yes, sir, I'm with you. Awesome, and then Pitt the following game. So how about game two of the season? That Friday up in Pittsburgh. So that'll get you ready. And Oconquo gets beat there by O'Neal. That's good. Boy, O'Neal just backed him down that time. That's just a good post player making a good move. Johnson. Toussaint. High screen from Oconquo. Good rotation. Harris triple up and good. Hugs really, really Joe likes to say Harris. Harris for three. Great high school career. Got a promising physique, too. Contact. Toussaint goes down. Three ball was bricked by Mills. Two on one. Toussaint, too much on the layup. And it's off of Matheny and out of play. Would have liked to see a finish there, Bake. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure whether he was going to shoot that or throw a lob up. And he got kind of in between just now and tried to lay it off the board too strong. Check back in for the Mountaineers. Oconquo out. And Joe Toussaint out. Was just thinking when we're going to see Jimmy Bell back in, and he is. Boy, Jeff Bell's going to be huge to the Mountaineers. They have to have an inside presence. He just set that screen for Stevenson. They get the offensive foul as... 
Eric Stevenson knocked down Isaac Elsasser, 6'4", senior Bowling for Bowling Green. Green. Well, you mentioned Team big for West Virginia, and Jimmy Bell, it's been weight loss and oh uh, improvement of movement for Jimmy. He dropped 75 pounds, but is still 280. Uh, 80. <laughs> yeah, he's a trim 285 right now. Been so, on a carrot diet, I guess. <laughs> Started drinking water, actually, is what he said. And he goes, eh, it makes me not hungry anymore. So whatever works, whatever works. But jokes aside, I mean, cut out the fried food, the late-night snacks, Matheny, too much. Stevenson boards. But Jimmy's game is his feet. Good move from Stevenson. Yep, we'll get the call there. He'll shoot two. This is a permanent green light here for Eric Stevenson. I think so right now. Yeah. Is it, is it what Bowling Green is giving him, or is it just that's the way things are shaking well, out? No, I think, I think he's creating a lot of that. He really yeah. is. Two shots. You know, he's got that savvy, that nose for knowing when there's going to be a gap or whatever, so he's just taking it right now. Now, th th that's fine, and I think Hubs is okay with it, but it, it can't yeah, but interfere with the rhythm of the offense yeah. overall. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Emmett Matthews re-enters for Josiah Harris, who goes for a break. And no good on that one. Rare free throw miss from Eric Stevenson. 98% last year. I'm not sure if he missed one or missed two. <laughs> O'Neal, oh, can't get the putback, rebound Bell. Should have been points there for Bowling Green, who trailed by 10. Five to play. Johnson pinned by O'Neal. And this is Elsasser underneath his own basket. Johnson riding him back all the way. Here's Matheny. Fakes the three. Speeds up. Matheny. No good. O'Neal underneath. Off the front of the rim and good. Basket by O'Neal. That's one Hugs won't be happy with. Somebody's got to kind of root O'Neal out of there. He was right there for the Matheny uh, miss and then able to just put it right over the edge of the rim. 6'7", 240 is Gabe O'Neill, the senior, his second season at Bowling Green. Bell underneath to Stevenson. Fadeaway shot. Ball escapes Bell. Falcons back the other way, and it gets away from Elsasser. That, that, that pass surprised the Elsasser. It wasn't yeah. a good pass, but if you ask him, I think he'll tell you he probably should have had it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, shin height, but Seth Wilson uh, you, you, you got time to make that read. I'd really like to see the Mountaineers run a set, a set play for something down low to, to Bell to see what he can do if he gets down there isolated inside. Yep, yeah, agree. West Virginia shooting just 29% in this game. Bowling Green worse at 22%. Not many threes made by either team. Mountaineers one for three, Bowling Green two for eight. Bell comes up high. Stevenson pulls up short off of Bell. Falcons have control, 24-16. Defensive laps, open three, converted. You're exactly right. West Virginia really, really slow getting back on defense. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that Hugs doesn't like to see. You've been playing pretty well, and then you have a defensive lapse like they can give an open three up. Leon Ayers scores that one. Muhammad Wagi set to re-enter. Matthews, teardrop, up and good. Emmett Matthews. Emmett's now got four points. Mountaineer lead is seven. Through the middle. Elsasser. Good deflection by Matthews. Three on two, West Virginia. Seth Wilson. No well, good. But Seth would like to have that one back. He's not going to get many better looks than that. Yep. Good defense from Bell. Forced the miss from Elsasser. Seth Wilson. Look to get it back here. And a foul before that play was completed. That'll take us to our final break of the half. It is West Virginia 26, Bowling Green 19. The action continues here from the WVU Coliseum on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus.
There are all kinds of products in this world, things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. It's not easy being a farmer. You're up with the sun and down in the dirt. It's hard work, but you like it that way. Nature is constantly changing, but it's not in your nature to quit. You sacrifice to support your family and our communities. It's only fair that there's someone supporting you. What are you doing here? that inspires. Roger, we've located it. The Call of Duty combo. Little Caesar slices and sticks and a 20 ounce Mountain Dew. Mmm, mmm. Mission deliciously accomplished. Unlock dual double XP with a Call of Duty combo or Mountain Dew at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. With you, we mentioned the new faces for West Virginia, almost a brand new team. You could almost field Two brand new teams, because you got nine new faces, and there they are. Jimmy Bell, who we've seen, Josiah Davis, the freshman, played his prep basketball in West Virginia, Taze Valley. Josiah Harris, Trey Mitchell, who's been out with a foot injury. We will not see him tonight, along with Patrick Sumnick. Eric Stevenson, leading scorer for West Virginia in this game. Joe Toussaint, who's looked good, and Mohamed Wagi, who re-enters. I'll tell you, it is. It takes a lot of work for these guys coming from different programs, coming in, getting acclimated to wait. Hugs wants them to play. And, you know, that, that a lot of these guys didn't have to play defense like Hugs expects them to. So it's a big learning curve. Eric Stevenson was telling me that, you know, the early mornings, the early training sessions, the things that you can usually loathe or at least not look forward to are things that this team is embracing. So instead of that, it's something that they're all enjoying. Uh, no one is showing any lack of excitement. All positivity, which could really go a long way, and we're so early. Stevenson scores again. Eric Stevenson. You look at Stevenson and see that, and that's just a kid that really, really knows how to play. Mountaineers force another turnover. Wilson, Stevenson. Can't get it that time. They enjoy each other's company. Offensive foul. They get Leon Ayers. Offensive foul, whistled on Bowling Green's number two, Leon Ayers. His Mountaineer first possession. Goal, team foul number 10. Hey, get along with your teammates and checking in for the foul. Kind of half the battle, right? It certainly Number is. Yeah, it really is. And I, I think a big part of this program this year will be the return of Emmett Matthews. Mm -hmm. Now, Emmett is a leader. He knows the program. He knows. He knows Morgantown. He knows, you know, a little bit. Of, and he wanted to come back, so that's huge. Matthews goes to Stevenson, and those two played in middle school for each other in high school travel basketball in Washington State. Put in. Waggy. Waggy. That was a quick rise up. Uh, uh, Waggy says, thank you very much. Yeah. The loose ball ends up right in my hands. Yeah, it's six foot ten. Catastrophe underneath O'Neal. Big slam. 31-21. 135 to go in the half. Mountaineers by 10. He is the blueprint, though, Waggy. 
He'll need, uh, he'll need to rebound some balls here for West Virginia, especially sure. in Big 12 play. He's just new to the program, too. He's going to put on weight. Yep. Look at the quickness from Stevenson. Can't get it up. Good no call. And he gets the time out there with a minute eight to go. As good as Stevenson has looked, there will be plays from time to time that's going to drive Hugs crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Yeah, Hugs will let him know, and then yeah, Eric, oh, will, Eric will let him know right back. That's one thing about it. Yeah, I got himself down in no man's land just now among the trees. The one thing about Eric Stevenson, yeah, he's, he, he's got a tongue that will, will bite. I wouldn't be surprised to see a few technicals on him this year. I've, I've been around him in practice, so he doesn't hesitate to you know, say his mind from time to time. But he claims, I think it was only one technical foul or two technical fouls, so his teammates will tell, yeah, I mean, his teammates will tell him to relax a little bit, and he's like, listen, guys, I, I know my limits. But we do look at the uh, Big 12 as a whole, Bake, and the preseason poll, Baylor picked to finish first. Kansas comes in at two. West Virginia is all the way down at number nine with 20 points as we look up West Virginia's upcoming schedule before they head into Big 12 play. As we mentioned before, Mount St. Mary's, the opener, two Mondays from now, and then you're on the road at Pitt, Moorhead State, and Penn. And you can catch the Mount St. Mary's, Moorhead State, and Penn games on Big 12 now on ESPN Plus right here. Shot clock. Shot clock violation. violation on West Virginia out of the timeout. Another thing that Hugs will not like and need to work on. West Virginia's kept us full court pressure on the whole first half. Contested three ball up and good. Three point basket by Big Lightfoot. shot by Lightfoot. A freshman from Niagara Falls cuts into this West Virginia lead. It's just seven. Maybe one more possession here for West Virginia and Bowling Green each. Wilson. Keedy Johnson. Ten on the shot clock. Screen for Matthews. Johnson accelerates, goes all the way to the basket. Fouled and one. Boy, you want to talk about body control. Oh, my goodness. Absorb the contact and still have enough to get it on the board. Yeah, that was something else from Keedy Johnson. Goodness. Dude was sideways. Checks back in for the Mountaineer. But look at him. Checking back Count it. The, the fact that it went down makes it a lot easier to get up. Yeah, you know? true, true. Yeah, at least it wasn't one of those hangers that kind of rolled around and fell out. 24 seconds to go, and one free throw upcoming here. Keedy can Keedy extend the West Virginia lead to 10. Halftime coming very shortly. Keedy Johnson in double figures. He's got 10 points with that make. Make it 11, and the West Virginia lead is 10. Shot clock is off as we're about to wrap up half number one. Ayers underneath, stolen by West Virginia, Seth Wilson with 10 seconds to go. Well, he got a piece of it. Toussaint with six on the clock. Toussaint pulls up, no good. Offensive rebound, Wagee. And that'll do it. West Virginia will take the 10 point lead into the locker room at the half as West Virginia gets its score from Keedy Johnson, who's got 11, along with Eric Stevenson, the Mountaineers in half number one. Bake, break it down. Well, I think the Mountaineers came out, played great defense there, Dave. Uh, but, you know, give Bowling Green credit, too. They could be down more than 10, and they've got really hung in there. But Hudson has a number of players that I think he's pleased with the way they played. West Virginia shooting 31%, Bowling Green 28%. The Mountaineers have forced 12 turnovers but committed eight themselves. We'll be back as halftime is here at the WVU Coliseum on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. There are all kinds of products in this world, things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. 
Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. Here we go! Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. It's not easy being a farmer. You're up with the sun and down in the dirt. It's hard work, but you like it that way. Nature is constantly changing, but it's not in your nature to quit. You sacrifice to support your family and our communities. It's only fair that there's someone supporting you. Medicine Children's is an incredible asset to the community and you don't realize how much you need this until you do. I met Gage when he was admitted to our ICU with bacterial meningitis. He said he was about a day away from not being here anymore. It's so extremely important to have hope when you're going through a time like that. I want to thank him for saving my life. They're the reason I'm here today. Gage is our hope for the future and every other patient who comes through our doors shares that same hope. to try it first. West Virginia is a special place, but it's the people that make it special. Honestly, it is the crowd, it's the people. This is one of the great environments. There are no pro teams in the state of West Virginia. They love West Virginia sports right here. This is the most underrated fan base in the country. Grass resource, state of West Virginia is not coal. Grass resource is its people. game days in almost heaven. There's nothing else quite like it. The crisp fall air, the smell of the tailgates all around, the renewal of storied traditions while hanging out with friends and meeting new ones. That's a game day at Milan Pushkar Stadium, where the pageantry of college football and the Mountaineers are a way of life. Join us on game days. Buy your tickets today at wvugame.com. to try it first.
New York Life's product isn't something you can touch or click on. It's 12,000 experts there to guide you through life's biggest moments. This is our product. This is what we do. I'm Raphael Warnock, and I approve this message. Why should voters believe you in this? Voters should Your believe word. me because I've been very transparent about everything I've ever done. You know, I wrote a book about things I've done. Another lie from Herschel Walker. Here's Walker's book, and he didn't write a word about his violence towards women. Nothing about threatening to kill his wife. In fact, Walker wrote, I can't point to any major blow-ups between us. Herschel Walker's lying again. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. For mom's famous peach cobbler, thank you. For outfitting life's big moments, we owe you one. For our first home, you made it possible. For every time you stepped up when things got hard, our community stands strong because of you. So let's stand together for our Georgia farmers. Pacifico is a crisp golden lager. Brewed for those who know, it's what's behind a label that matters. The air feels different on fall Saturdays in West Virginia. Familiar roads lead us on early morning drives to a place where we feel alive. And traditions bring together a fierce fan base united by the same passion, West Virginia football. As West Virginia's bank, we've been there and will continue to be there. United Bank, proud to be united with the Mountaineers. WVU Medicine Children's is an incredible asset to the community and you don't realize how much you need this until you do. I met Gage when he was admitted to our ICU with bacterial meningitis. He said he was about a day away from not being here anymore. It's so extremely important to have hope when you're going through a time like that. I want to thank him for saving my life. They're the reason I'm here today. Gage is our hope for the future and every other patient who comes through our doors shares that same hope. to try it first. West Virginia is a special place, but it's the people that make it special. Honestly, it is the crowd, it's the people. This is one of the great environments. There are no pro teams in the state of West Virginia. They love West Virginia sports right here. This is the most underrated fan base in the country. Grass resource, state of West Virginia is not coal. Grass resource is its people. Game days in almost heaven. There's nothing else quite like it. The crisp fall air, the smell of the tailgates all around, the renewal of storied traditions while hanging out with friends and meeting new ones. That's a game day at Milan Pushkar Stadium, where the pageantry of college football and the Mountaineers are a way of life. Join us on game days. Buy your tickets today at wvugame.com. to try it first.
there are all kinds of products in this world, things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. I need to know if Wakanda is an ally or an enemy. You can come and find out. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Ready PG-13. There are all kinds of products in this world, things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. Coliseum, West Virginia has the lead over Bowling Green, 34-24. Andrew Caridi and Warren Baker with you. Let's get you some team stats. Through the first half, West Virginia shot 32% to Bowling Green's 28%. The Mountaineers 12 of 38, Bowling Green 9 of 32. West Virginia from deep, just one of six. Bowling Green hit four threes in that first half on 11 attempts. Turnovers were 12 to eight. Bowling Green committed four more than West Virginia. Mountaineers winning the rebounding battle, 29 to 20 while also grabbing, how about this big, 13 offensive rebounds in there. Points in the pay were 16 to 10 West Virginia. Assists were four to three in favor of Bowling Green. Yeah, I thought that was huge, the 13 offensive rebounds. How he likes that? Yeah, he, he likes to see him pound the board. Of course, four or five of them came on that one set when they couldn't get the ball to go down, but nevertheless, he likes to see that. So West Virginia has its starting five back out there. Jimmy Bell, and then Matthews, Kobe Johnson, Eric Stevenson, and Keaty Johnson for Bowling Green, waiting to see their five to come out. West Virginia was led by Keaty Johnson's 11 points to Eric Stevenson's 11 points. There is head coach Bob Huggins. Looking longingly to our officials who have been held in check in this one by Coach Huggins, if you could say that. <laughs> Ray Natilli, Antonio Petty, and Jeb Hartness. And again, I, I'm giving Bowling Green a lot of credit. They're down 10, but if you if you weren't keeping score, just watching oh, the game, you thought they would be down more than they are, and they yep. cut it back to seven. West Virginia can't broaden that lead more than 10. 
Oh, and off the set, they had the play, but A.G. threw it away. Had his man cutting to the basket. That was Samari Curtis. We saw them run a nice set play out of a timeout in the first half. Had that one set up, had the pass been good, but uh, just a little too hot. Ayers, Matheny, A.G., Curtis, and O'Neal. Starting five for the Falcons. Keedy Johnson has it now for the Mountaineers. Offensive foul to send it the other way. I think they get Jimmy Bell underneath on O'Neal. Yep, they did. Jimmy Bell trying to post up and get uh, get position. And, you know, actually, that was a set. They were going to go to Jimmy Bell inside. He's just a little too aggressive trying to get his position. Is it harder or easier as a big or a small uh, to adjust to a new system, or does it just depend on the person, Bake? I think it depends on the person and uh, that and how the coaches let you practice each time and then adjusting to the officials in a game. It's been a pretty well officiated. It has been. That being said, there's still 19 to 20 to go. <laughs> O'Neal, the big man, bricked it. And you don't like that. Boy. If you're West Virginia. Hugs is not going to be happy with that. That ball bounced off the side of the backboard. They get it for a layup. AG on the putback that time. He's got five. Hugs are ready to make a substitution already. Not happy at all. Might be Bell headed to the early exit with. Yeah, I think it is. Ball whistled on Samari Curtis, his third team foul. Get Curtis one. for the foul. Which is tough to handle because you understand for Jimmy Bell, it's not expecting a uh, backboard flat miss. No. And there is Wagey. Kobe Johnson. Kobe Johnson. Now give it to the Mountaineer guards. Boy, you can see their strength. Now we saw Kitty Johnson make one right before halftime, and that time that was a contested shot. And a nice job by Kobe Johnson to get it up in there. Basket from the West Virginia guard. Can they force a turnover here? No. Slung to Matheny. No good. Rebound Stevenson for West Virginia, who lead by 10. Matthews. Stevenson, two free throws upcoming. Ball is called on Leon Ayers, his second personal team foul number two. I'm just going to say that was the, uh, Eric Stevenson. <coughs> excuse me, the Washingtonian the connection there. <laughs> Tacoma and Lacey combined. So West Virginia's leading scorer in the game is Stevenson as he sinks that one. Chandler Turner checks in for the Falcons. Chandler Turner re-enters for Bowling Green. And Stevenson hits again. 38-26. So if you're Coach Huggins, Spake, you'd like to see West Virginia start to pull away earlier. Yeah, I think so. But, you, you know, early in the year like this, Andrew, when you have playing, you play so many different players, you're going to have those lows. Continuity is going to be a difficult thing to get and keep at the same time. Another putback for Bowling Green. Basket by A.G. A.G. scores again. Just over two minutes played. Another whistle in this slow starting second half. You know, no one wants to see a game that's going to be marred by fouls, but I think early on in the year, in the year like this, Ball coaches ball don't ball mind seeing ball that ball because they're going to say, hey, listen, we told you in practice they're going to call fouls on you when you do this. So, you know, it's better off that the officials don't let that go now. Guys get in bad habits. Call it now, early in the year, so those guys can adjust. Well, Gee gets his own board, gets the jump, and one. Mohammed for Mohammed Waki. I'll tell you what, McGee was really quick. He missed that initial shot and was quick enough to get there and get that second one to get it up. Got a chance for the three-point play. It's the Pogo. Check it out. One bounce, two bounce. Gets up there again. 
Good head fake. Yeah, good instincts. He has a big, big upside. Again, all he has to do is play. West Virginia has a rebounding team as he misses the N1 free throw, just not good enough last year. Combined team rebounds were 9 of 10 in the Big 12 as O'Neill scores for Bowling Green. Combined opponent rebounds allowed. West Virginia 36, which was bottom of the league. Defensive rebounds also, West Virginia was 10th. Well, that last play down court for West Virginia is certainly going to really get Hugs hot. And another foul on the Mountaineers this time at the 17-13 mark. I don't know who the guards were that fell asleep, but McGee missed the free throw, and Bowling Green gets a layup at the other end. Somebody's got to be back. You know, McGee was the closest guy to being back after that miss. See the frustration there from Kobe Johnson. Do they pick up for the foul? Coach Larry Harris letting Keedy Johnson, hey, somebody's not communicating here. We've got to have somebody back. Samari Curtis, who's the returning leading scorer for Bowling Green last year, finally gets his first two points of the game on free throws. And as West Virginia has seen its lead dissipate to single digits. Keedy Johnson gets the foul. On yep, I think Katie Katie Johnson just got a technical. Yep. So they pick up Matheny for the blocking call. And then Keedy Johnson put that in the tummy of O'Neill. And it seems like they will get Keedy Johnson for the technical. I they're going to get him with the technical here. Technical foul called on West Virginia's Keedy Johnson. That may earn him some time on, time on the treadmill. Coach Huggins' face says it all. And Curtis will shoot the free throws. We saw Alex Ruoff. Yeah, there he is right now. Yeah. Next to Coach Huggins and GA roll, finishing his pro career. Joe Toussaint checks in for the Mountaineers. As Joe Toussaint will come in for West Virginia, and Keedy might go for a elongated seat. As West Virginia lead is cut to six here, Bake, with... Uh, well, they were up by 12 a second ago, and yeah. you were talking about, can they ex you know, extend the lead? But you, know, you just can't have those type of situations come up. You know, I realize it's a charity game. They're playing Bowling Green, but as the season goes along, those things right there can turn an entire ball game around. West we'll, for, West, I said, we'll see what happens here now. Yeah, West Virginia has been outscored 10-6 here in half number two. Stevenson. Matthews fouled. Look get O'Neal. Foul whistle on Bowling Green's number 32, Gabe O'Neal. That's his four. Team foul number six. So that's four on O'Neal. And Emmett Matthews heads to the free throw line. If West Virginia did do something relatively well last year, it was shoot free throws, 72%, fourth in the league. At the line for West Virginia, Emmett Matthews, two shots. First free throw up and in for Matthews. Checking 76% free throw shooter. Madani Diario. And gets the second one too. Lead is back to eight. And Matthews got a birthday coming up on Tuesday. Birthdays don't go away, do they? No. <laughs> no, they don't. And Bowling Green called for the travel there as they pick up Diara for the infraction. Part of my conversation with Eric Stevenson was, you know, mentioning that obviously it's year five for him. And he's like, yeah, my sister is turning 27. God, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, comes at you fast, right? Yeah. 
Wagi created a good look there, just couldn't they put did. it away. Ag for Bowling Green. Cross court feed Matheny, quick release. Can't get it that time. Tough sledding here for Caden Matheny in this game. He is one for five from three and one of eight from the floor. Matthews, no good on the layup. And yet, yeah, Wagi stepped out of bounds. That's okay. You like to see that type of hustle. There's a timeout on the court. You know, whoever plays against him better put a body on him because he's going to get to the board. Yeah, he covers a lot of space in those strides. First timeout of the second half. It's West Virginia 42, Bowling Green 34 as the Falcons outscoring West Virginia so far in half number two. Back after this on ESPN+. Plus. You keep helping her with homework. But um, we're only just now. We'll help you save for her college. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground towers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. Here we go! Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance. Because you never know where life is going to take you. For mom's famous peach cobbler, thank you. For outfitting life's big moments, we owe you one. For our first home, you made it possible. For every time you stepped up when things got hard, our community stands strong because of you. So let's stand together for our Georgia farmers. Coliseum. There is head coach of the University Hawks, Joe Schmidl, who coached Caden Matheny of uh, the Bowling Green Falcons. Morgantown native carries up the floor now quickly. Dishes it off. AG, three. Nothing but backboard. Rebound Stevenson as West Virginia leads this one, 42-34. Josiah Harris, yes. Josiah Harris, oh. Mountaineers back up 11. Bake, is that part of his game? It is part of his game. He's got the whole package, though. I mean, it looks just so, you know, comfortable shooting early on. Massive swap there from Eric Stevenson as he shuts down the opportunity from Diara. There's the triple for Josiah Harris on the other end. Stevenson, the heat seeker that time. And Josiah Harris back to him at six foot seven, freshman from Canton, Ohio. Turner, no good. Contact underneath, big board from Waggy. Toussaint. Kobe Johnson. Rebound Waggy. Deflected into the hands of Toussaint. Boy, Waggy has been really, really active. You have to like that. Harris, 
As the guard Stevenson low. Toussaint gonna pull up. Knock it down, tough shot with a hand Joe in his face from Matheny. Mountaineers up 47-34. Closing in on a largest lead of the game. Mountaineers get the press broken on them again quickly. Diara underneath. Gave it away. Steal by Toussaint. The former Hawkeye, Josiah Harris. No good, Wagi with the board again. Made it look easy. And that will deflect off of a Mountaineer and out of play. James Oconquo and Seth Wilson. Oconquo and Wilson back in for West Virginia. Two changes for the Falcons. Lightfoot and Towns into the game for the first time. The junior from Columbus, Ohio. Oconquo back in the ball game. Hux talks about just how intelligent and smart the kid is. He said that he just really hasn't translated into his basketball sense yet, but he says oh, he has the tools. He just thinks too much sometimes. Well, he'd rather have the brains instead of the uh, physical attributes, right? At least for the, um, a the long term thing. The physical is going to come. Yep. Mountaineers get the steal. Wilson, Tucson. Stevenson late getting back. He went down underneath the basket. Oh, and a blocking call underneath as Stevenson got the call as he was dishing that one off. Down goes Ag. Two, oh, two good really plays play by Stevenson. Second, both ends save the ball Check and then come the down and number two, Leon try to get that ball inside. And he's uh, he's gonna step to the line. Oh, they call that a shooting. Oh, that's for team foul number seven. I was ready to say, I didn't think he was shooting, but that is, uh, he'll be shooting in one and one. Yeah, but a difficult run here after the break for Bowling Green. I haven't had a basket in the last three and a half minutes, so for the last four from the field. Mountaineers have outscored the Falcons now, Correction. 13 Bowling to 10. Green ball to number five, Sean Agee is second. Mountaineers back up to 34% shooting. Eric Stevenson. And uh, a thing that West Virginia struggled with last year was field goal percentage in terms of the rest of the Big 12. Mountaineers clocked in at just 41% on average. Six point difference between Kansas who shot 48%. Jumper, air balled by Sam Towns. Stevenson, Euro step through the paint. Toussaint off the front of the rim, deflected high, and tipped back out to Joe Toussaint. Another good play by Stevenson. And it results in two points. Joe Toussaint. That tip out is something that won't show up in the uh, in the scoreboard or the scorebook, but good play by Stevenson. Keep that ball alive. Good reaction there for Joe Toussaint to get the head fake and score the bucket. Mountaineers up 15 in the game, and that'll take us to another break as the Mountaineers are starting to pull away, but a lot of left here at the WVU Coliseum with 13-10 to play on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. New York Life's product isn't something you can touch or click on. It's 12,000 experts there to guide you through life's biggest moments. This is our product. This is what we do. I was diagnosed with cancer in May, and I now take a great many more prescription drugs. For years, politicians have talked about forcing drug companies to lower their prices, but that didn't happen until Raphael Warnock finally got it done. Without Raphael Warnock, this never would have passed. Senator Warnock not only cares about seniors, but he actually got something done for us. I'm Raphael Warnock and I approve this message. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance because you never know where life is going to take you. It's not easy being a farmer. You're up with the sun and down in the dirt. It's hard work, but you like it that way. Nature is constantly changing, but it's not in your nature to quit. You sacrifice to support your family and our communities. It's only fair that there's someone supporting you. It's 
big, it's back, and it's still $6. Get the big box y'all love today. Love that chicken from Popeyes. Pacifico is brewed for those who follow their own path. That's Living Life Anchors Up. Virginia 49, Bowling Green 34. Andrew Caridi, Warren Baker with you as we open the West Virginia men's basketball season. In a way, this is the charity exhibition as West Virginia takes on Bowling Green, which will benefit the Norma May Huggins Cancer Research Endowment Fund. And we're nearing the halfway mark. West Virginia has began to pull away here in half number two. They've outscored Bowling Green 15 to 10. And a foul on West Virginia. They'll get Seth Wilson on the call. Sam Towns will shoot two. As you've said before, Andrew, West Virginia with the lead now up, um, up 15. Uh, good, big foul on uh, Seth Wilson. But yeah, each time, West Virginia looks like they're about ready to open this thing up. Bowling Green finds a little bit in them to come back. So we'll see what happens here. First free throw up and good by Lightfoot actually shooting these free throws. Coach Huggins there explaining things to Seth Wilson briefly. And Lightfoot goes two for two. Gabe O'Neill, the leading scorer for Bowling Green in this game, is on the bench. He's got four fouls and eight points. Nobody on the Falcons team scoring in double figures yet. Got a defensive change by Bowling Green. They were in a 2-2-1 full court. Foul underneath, they're going to get Okonkwo. Trying to get position inside. This is the first zone that we've seen out of Bowling Green. I'm surprised didn't see some earlier. We'll see West if they Virginia stick with it. But the last time full Okonkwo. court, they were 2-2-1, dropping back to a 2-3 zone. First personal for Okonkwo, team fifth. We'll see how West Virginia handles that change up as the game goes on. Lightfoot, Tucson after it for West Virginia. Okonkwo down. Whistle. Eric Stevenson likes the hustle. And po possession belongs to West Virginia. Jump ball, possession arrow to the Mountaineers. More good work yeah, on Seth, the floor. Seth Wilson got that started, and then every Mountaineer diving in, trying to get that loose ball, and it pays off. West Virginia gets the possession. West Virginia was third in the Big 12 last year with a three turnover margin. Stevenson draws the foul. You know, Eric Stevenson is strong enough. Okonkwo threw the ball down to him low just now. He's strong enough. They can post up Eric Stevenson at 6'4". He's going to be bigger than a lot of guards that he yeah. has to go up against. So he can get that thing up there. That's true. He's really looking forward to playing in the Big 12, too. He thought that uh, the Pac-12, not as physical uh -huh. as the Big 12. Obviously, South Carolina in a strong conference, too. But arguments so to be made that the Big 12 is the de facto the best league in the country. Top to bottom, yes. In basketball, in football. And another free throw. Up and good for Eric Stevenson. And West Virginia has continued with this full court heat all evening. Not only does it wear on you physically, mentally after a while it wears on you, you know? Oh yeah. Stevenson's seven free throws create 15 points, so half of his points are from the charity stripe. Another triple from Bowling Green, no good. Josiah Harris pulls it down. Mountaineers have the largest lead of the game. Bowling Green back man-to-man, -man. only went the zone one time down. 
Which is interesting because they had the turnover forced off a offensive foul from Okonkwo, who's got the ball now. Takes the backdoor dish. Toussaint, alley-oop, and Okonkwo is fouled. They get Towns for the call. He couldn't believe it. No, he couldn't. And James Okonkwo is to the line when we return. Another media timeout from the WVU Coliseum. West Virginia and Bowling Green on this charity exhibition night in Morgantown. Stay with us. Our coverage continues on ESPN+. Plus. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance because you never know where life is going to take you. It's not easy being a farmer. You're up with the sun and down in the dirt. It's hard work, but you like it that way. Nature is constantly changing, but it's not in your nature to quit. You sacrifice to support your family and our communities. It's only fair that there's someone supporting you. Green, here's a look at the Big 12 preseason poll. West Virginia just one spot above a Kansas State after struggling last year in the league bank. Baylor, Kansas, Texas, top of the pack. That's not much of a surprise, but for West Virginia, uh, to earn some of the respect that they deserve, quite frankly, in the last couple of years. Um, they've got to improve and it has to be in that non-conference portion of the schedule to get them ready. They do, and, and I asked Hux about that. I said, I, I bet it doesn't bother you to be where the they picked us. He said, no, not at all. So not all. Let everybody overlook us like that, you know. We can go up from there, you know, so you're not at the top of the heap where everybody's shooting for you. Conquo misses the first free throw. Yeah, I mean, not that football and basketball are comparable, but everybody wrote Baylor off two seasons ago. They yeah, win exactly. the thing. TCU this season, pick seven. They're seven and zero. Coming to Morgantown tomorrow. Mountaineers will press. Pressing after a miss. Both misses from Oconquo. Oh, and a blocking call underneath. Was he inside the circle? That's, yeah, that's really the only thing I can see. Yeah, I agree with you. Tucson immediately looks at that. From a position oh, standpoint, I thought he had it. He may have been inside the arc. Team foul number six. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's tough. Amari Curtis, two shots. Well, it's early for the officials, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll give him a break. Wow. Ball don't lie. Samari Curtis misses the first one. Curtis with four in this game makes the second. 11.20 to go, second half. There's that 2-2-1. Two, two, they're back in the uh, the half court the press now. And they're going to stay in a 2-3 zone. Let's see how, how West Virginia handles this. Here's where your guards have to step up. They have to recognize this and get everybody in the right positions. Veteran guys out there, Toussaint and Stevenson. Yeah, that should not be a problem for them. Josiah Harris. They found the soft spot. Tucson. No good. Rebound Turner. Oh, it's wide open down the middle. Big pin from Oconquo. 
Himself, Wilson over midcourt. Stevenson to Tucson. Now they're dropping back two, three. I'm surprised again the teams haven't done or teams won't do this to West Virginia to find out if they can crack it from the perimeter. Wilson goes crashing in to grab his own board and gave it away to Matheny. Spins away from Harris. Good find on the wing. Triples airballed. That miss from Bowling Green. Harris in and out. Boy, this sandlot at its best right now. These teams are just running up and down the court here. Basket by Lightfoot. Floater up and in from Lightfoot. Both teams exhausted. You can see everybody huffing and puffing as they come up the court. West Virginia up 12. They'll try and run the offense here. Wilson. Harris. And a good look. Rebound Matheny. Goes over. Stevenson misses, and it's followed up by Turner. West Virginia lead cut to 10. West Virginia is rushing things with this zone. Get everybody set. It's been one or two passes in their shot, and if you're not hitting, that's not going to beat a zone. And West Virginia continuing to tool with its five out there. Stevenson knocked loose by Matheny. And just thrown to the basket because they thought the buzzer sounded. I thought it did sound. Well, it did, but for the other possession, and Seth Wilson takes advantage of it. Seth Wilson. That buzzer froze everybody for just a second. West yep. Virginia. The defender uh, ends up getting a basket out of it. It was Willie Lightfoot who just threw it up. Another triple attempt. Banged in by Samari Curtis. 53-44. West Virginia lead back to single digits at nine with 8.25 to go. But this is a position where Coach Huggins just kind of watches things play out, right? Well, as I said earlier, there's no Taz Sherman or Sean McNeil out there to crack this zone. West Virginia... Really is going to have to find somebody that can put it in from out there and then also look at that foul line's always open. Yep. They find Harris here. No good that time. Josiah Harris has to follow his shot right there. He grabs that one. Fortunately for West Virginia, Bowen Green's been a little impatient on the, uh, on the offensive end. And Coach Huggins wants the timeout and wants a line change. Four to enter for West Virginia as we take another break here for the WVU Coliseum. West Virginia 53, Bowling Green 44 on Big 12 now on ESPN+. Plus. You spent your life carefully building a legacy. We'll be just as careful helping you pass it on. I'm Raphael Warnock, and I approve this message. Why should voters believe you in this? Voters should Your believe word. me because I've been very transparent about everything I've ever done. You know, I wrote a book about things I've done. Another lie from Herschel Walker. Here's Walker's book, and he didn't write a word about his violence towards women. Nothing about threatening to kill his wife. In fact, Walker wrote, I can't point to any major blow-ups between us. Herschel Walker's lying again. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14 Pro. Now at T-Mobile. T-Mobile gives you Apple TV Plus included. So watch your favorite Apple Originals on iPhone's most advanced display ever. Get iPhone 14 Pro on us with Apple TV Plus included. Now at T-Mobile. The Hisense 100-day guarantee. You'll regret nothing about the TV. You'll still have all those regrets about the poor choices you've made in your life. Damn straight, semi-famous brand ambassador. And now you can get awarded $100 when you buy a Hisense Google TV. That's $100 if you love it. 
100 days to return it if you don't. Choose love. Choose Hisense. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance because you never know where life is going to take you. in West Virginia. They lead this game 53-44. Andrew Caridi, Warren Baker with you. What was said in that timeout, Baker? Well, I think Hutt said we've got to have more movement against that zone. We're standing around, passing around the perimeter, and settling for outside shots that aren't dropping. They can get the ball to the free throw line anytime they want, but we'll see. See, And Bowling Green, as you would expect, stays in that zone. Jamel King has come in, who is one of the better shooters on this team. He sees his first action of the evening. Yeah, different five out here for West Virginia, along with Evan Matthews, who's back in. Jimmy Bell down low. Kobe Johnson for three, no good. Ball deflected into the hands of Matheny. It's one of the better defenders in the Big 12. Kitty Johnson, Matheny, too strong. And King fighting for it with O'Neal, who's out there again for Bowling Green, leading scorer in this game for the Falcons. Buddy's got four fouls, matches up there with Jimmy Bell. O'Neal goes to work, tough shot. Misses it strong, rebound West Virginia. Matthews, Toussaint, Matthews, slam dunk. Hey, nice give and go. Matthews from Joe Toussaint. West Virginia really didn't have numbers, but Toussaint saw Matthews going down the middle, said, what the heck, I'm going to give it to him. And Matthews finishes. Deceptively long, that guy. Yes, he is. Good penetration here from Bowling Green. Good kick. And the triple from Ayers would not go. Rebound Jamel King. Bowling Green is getting some good looks from threes. They're getting great looks. I, I think a lot of it might be because they're beginning to get tired from all the pressure that they've had to deal with when they've come up the court. That's going to always be there. Emmett Matthews Emmett making it look easy. Back-to-back -back points for Emmett Matthews. Even if Emmett doesn't knock that shot, the defense has to collapse, and then he can kick it out to his shooters. And back to that point, Bake, about Bowling Green from three. They've shot 22. They've only made five. And that time, Kobe Johnson is beat. Rashawn. Well, yeah, no weak side help either. I don't know. Yeah, Kobe did get beat, but somebody should have been there to contest that shot, and that should have been, I think, Jimmy Bell. AG scores. Matthews rebounds on the air ball from King. Kobe Johnson, Mountaineers looking a lot more comfortable in this zone. Looking for the bank there. Good board from Kobe Johnson, and a walk that one in, 59-46. Johnson. Well, whenever you play zone, you really don't have block out responsibilities. And guys like Kobe Johnson did just now can sneak in there and get that offensive rebound. Athene, good step to the basket. Couldn't get it to go. King, gonna pull up. Too strong. Good step. And they're gonna get the goal go 10 on Jamal King. Now, Jamel Go King has not played tonight. He's one of the guys that can shoot the ball. From three. He needs to relax right now. You know, he's been wanting to get in all evening. He's all amped up right now. And it, both shots have been strong that he's put up. Yep, that was coming down. And King had a poke loose. And... Well, how's he seen enough of that? Yep. Stevenson will come back in and again King. Trying to get motivated here by Evan Matthews. That's his first personal team foul number seven. Eric Stevenson. And that'll be the seventh team foul on West Virginia. Now, we really don't have a veteran presence on the, on the uh, bench over there that's been here. Somebody really needs to pick King up right now. Yep. I mean, he, he's feeling bad. Yeah, Okonku's trying to do that. But, you know, if Emmett's on the bench, somebody like that really needs to pick this guy up. Say, so come on, it's going to be all right. 
You know, Kitty Johnson actually just sat next to him, so there Did you he? go. Okay. Yep. Second free throw is good. West Virginia lead cut to nine, 439 to go. This thing looked like it's been between nine and 12 the entire ball game yeah, here. Yep, yep. <laughs> West Virginia had it as high as 15. And Stevenson looking inside. Tipped away. Ag gave it away. Matthews fouled. That last pass down there that uh, Stevenson threw away, that, a lot of that was Golden Bell's fault. He was he was going away from the basketball. You got to come and meet it, get it, and then make your move. So Matthews to shoot free throws now. Emmett is two for two tonight. He scored 10 points in his return to Morgantown. This isn't technically all official yet, but I'm sure we'll be referring to the stats come next Monday. Matthews sinks the first one. Not this coming Monday, but <laughs> the next one. Right around the corner. Oh, yeah. It's going to be March in like a week. Second free throw good for Emmett. Mountaineers have Johnson, Toussaint, Emmett, Eric, Stevenson, and Bell out there. Deep three off the front of the rim. Bowling Green continuing to struggle to shoot. Matthews smooth out there. Was. Strong second half for Emmett Matthews. He is now leading West Virginia with 14 points. Well, one of the things that Emmett really worked on while he was at Washington last year was his perimeter game. And Coach Huggins is saying he doesn't just fling it up there from behind his head anymore. Another takeaway. Alley-oop. A little bit behind Johnson, but a good recovery. Toussaint, good dish. Stevenson, yes, sir. He hits from there. Eric Stevenson for three. Give Joe Toussaint a lot of credit. He had the shot, decided to give it up. Perfect job by him to hit Stevenson in the corner for the shot. Toussaint with a game high four assists for West Virginia. Final break to take. Mountaineers have a 16 point lead in the final stretch. 318 to go, 6650. All WVU will step aside on ESPN Plus. There are all kinds of products in this world, things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there, to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. I'm Raphael Warnock, and I approve this message. Why should voters believe you in this? Voters should Your believe word. me because I've been very transparent about everything I've ever done. You know, I wrote a book about things I've done. Another lie from Herschel Walker. Here's Walker's book, and he didn't write a word about his violence towards women. Nothing about threatening to kill his wife. In fact, Walker wrote, I can't point to any major blow-ups between us. Herschel Walker's lying again. Wherever we come from, we all have one thing in common. We all want the incredible new iPhone 14. As we welcome you back to the WVU Coliseum. 
there's Eric Stevenson for West Virginia. He's got actually a game high 18 for the Mountaineers on five of 10 shooting. Seven of nine from the free throw line. Meanwhile, Emmett Matthews, 14 points. Six of those coming here in the second half. Perfect in the line. Four of four to go along with six rebounds. So, Ebbett, who is comfortable, returns to the program as a transfer, uh, <laughs> along with Eric Stevenson, the transfer from South Carolina and Washington and Wichita State, <laughs> leading the way for West Virginia. Keaty Johnson also with 11 points in this game. The Mountaineers scores in double figures. Samari Curtis has 12 for Bowling Green. I've got to believe Coach Huber's a little upset. The last three or four possessions for his ball club down the court, they've come down and just thrown up some shots. They played too well to leave here really getting blown out bad. Oconquo with a denial. Off the hand, Matthews had it taken away. And the layup scored. Samari Curtis. By Samari Curtis. Yeah, Bowling Green struggling to shoot in this game is 28%. Yeah. Mountaineers 66, Bowling Green 52. Matthews, Oconquo, put back, in and out. And that time, Kobe Johnson scores it. Kobe, Oconquo's got to use the board right there. Uh, he had an easy layup just there. Just lay it off the board softly and get it to go down. Matheny. AG, rebound Oconquo. Two minutes to go. Big not gonna like this. West Virginia has committed 19 turnovers in this game. Well, yeah, no, that, they're gonna, there's plenty for, the, for them to see on film, that's for sure. Toussaint. Joe Toussaint. Extending the lead for West Virginia. It's a triple and it's a 19 point lead for the Mountaineers, the largest of the game. They have also forced 19 turnovers, too. And this is the first real active competition in the Coliseum for WVU this season. Matheny off the screen. Can't get it to go. Loose on the floor. Great work from Ag. Matheny again. Offensive foul. Stevenson yep. got the call. With 1.15 to go. Boy, he's done a little bit of everything this evening. Bowling Green foul goal to number five, Rashawn Ag is third. Third on Ag. Well, again, it, it hadn't been a thing of beauty, but it's early in the year, certainly, and you know, West Virginia can look and see, you know, see the things that they really have to work on, which is plenty, but uh, all teams have it. This time of year. Especially when you consider nine players who are sure. playing for West Virginia for the first time, with the exception of Emmett Matthews. Kobe, Kobe Johnson, Johnson scores that one. We're under a minute to go. Conco with an excellent looking pass just now. But to your point, Bake, I mean, there's a variety of skill sets. There is a wealth of experience. Three ball good for Samari Three Curtis. By Curtis. You think Stevenson, Emmett Matthews. Joe Toussaint has looked very good. Want to get Josiah Davis into the game. He has not played to this point now, so. Checking in for the Mountaineers. As Josiah Toussaint Davis. goes for a seat. And Josiah Davis from Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, the freshman. Tays Valley Christian product. 19 points, 9 rebounds a game. Played for the U16 Canadian national team. There were thoughts of him redshirting at the beginning, and I don't know whether that's changed or not, but uh, right. we'll see how things go. Last possession of the game for West Virginia. Stevenson to Matthews. Stevenson. No good. Tip back toward the basket. 
10 seconds to go. This will be the final play of the game. O'Neill scores it, 73 to 57. And that will do it from the WVU Coliseum. It's a winner for West Virginia on this charity exhibition night. From Morgantown, Mountaineers 73, Bowling Green 57, Emma Matthews 14 points, Eric Stevenson 18 points, Keedy Johnson with 11, 17 for Samari Curtis, West Virginia turned it up in the second half. Promising moments for West Virginia, but a long way to go. It is a long way to go, but you know, you, some of the guys that you expected to step up have done that, so that's a good start. It is a great start for West Virginia, and they are officially in action coming up on the 7th of November, not this Monday, but next Monday here at home against Mount St. Mary's on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. That game will tip off at 7 o'clock. You can join myself and Warren Baker for all of the action in that one as we bid you farewell from the WVU Coliseum. The final score, West Virginia 73, Bowling Green 57. So for Warren Baker, I'm Andrew Caruti saying so long from the WVU Coliseum. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN Country Roads to take you out. There are all kinds of products in this world. Things that make life easier or more fun. But New York Life's product is different. It's 12,000 experts whose responsibility is to be there to guide you through the happiest and most difficult times. People who know the most valuable things in life aren't things at all. This is our product. This is what we do. Stacey Abrams backs Joe Biden totally, unquestioningly. She sucked up to Biden. She backed his economic agenda, destroyed retirement savings, ravaged family budgets, sent America into recession. Here in Georgia, Brian Kemp stands his ground, cowers to no one. He brought jobs, cut family taxes, funded our schools. But Stacey Abrams wants to double down on failure. Don't let Stacey Abrams do to Georgia what they've done to America. Marathon has the fuel to keep your engine running at peak performance because you never know where life is going to take you. The Hisense 100 day guarantee. You'll regret nothing about the TV. You'll still have all those regrets about the poor choices you've made in your life. Damn straight, semi famous brand ambassador. And now you can get awarded $100 when you buy a Hisense Google TV. That's $100 if you love it. 100 days to return it if you don't. Choose love. Choose high sense. I need to know if Wakanda's an ally or an enemy. You can come and find out. Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Rated PG 13.